Hello guys, my name is Armin and today I want to show you how to stitch or combine individual sheets and create one large plaid. This happens when you deal with, let's say, several drawings or landscape drawings, when you have multiple small sheets that you need to go back and forth between the sheet to understand the workflow. With this exercise, you can create one enlarged plaid and bring all one info to one sheet and it's gonna save you a lot of time and give you a better perspective of what's going on on your side. So let's just jump into Bluebeam together to see how easily we can put everything together. I think this is a familiar look uh, for you guys. So you can see large plans for like landscape, civil, or even like a mechanical drawings that you, you need to go to a different page to get all the info and understand what, what the process is on the site. So what we're gonna do today, we basically we're gonna stitch all of these individuals together and create a big sheet because all the side or all the original drawings that you get doesn't have all the info that you get from the individual ones. So what we do today, we just basically go, grab the individuals, put all of them together in one sheet. So let's just start. In order to do that, we need a blank PDF. So we can go to file, new PDF. Um, you can go to the template. Um, you can pick any size. It depends how project is, how big it is. Um, if you want to make it smaller, bigger, it's up to you. But I would normally go to Arc E 36 by 48. Um, select landscape. Um, so this is our black canvas. Right now we're going to basically go to the, all the individual and put it in there. So I've already selected all the individual sheets. So what I'm going to do, it's going to be a really easy process that I'm basically getting all of that and put them in one. One quick note and tip that is really, really important is all of these individual sheets should have the same scale. So, so you can find the scale on the bottom right in every single drawing. So if all the individual sheets have the same scale, then you'll be able to do this process. So I've already checked, everything has the same scale, so I think we're good to go. Um, it's gonna be really, really easy. So what we need to do, we just go to Snap Tool, make sure you basically get all the match lines because it's gonna help us align them properly. So select, take a second. When you see these blue lines, it means scene captured. Go back to the document, copy over there, paste in a new sheet. So the next step, you need to go to your settings. So the settings right here has another skill. This is not a drawing skill, this is an imaging skill. So it basically tells you how big this image is gonna be and you can make it smaller or bigger depending on the desired sheet space. So right now, everything that comes in has 100%. So I'm looking at my canvas. I know that if I bring the other four in, it's gonna be too big. I won't be able to place them on one sheet. So I'm gonna select like a smaller size. You can see basically shrinks everything. Let's just make it 60, just for the sake, okay? So I have this one right here. So I'm gonna basically do the same process and bring every single sheet inside this uh, drawing. So as you guys see, basically I did the same practice. I uh, went to the individual sheet, took a snapshot, um, paste it over uh, in my enlarged plan, and then adjusted this imaging scale to 60. So right now, the, basically the hard part is done. It's, it's just aligning using the match lines. So this is gonna be really, really easy. You can basically see all the match lines when all of these is gonna hit each other, right? Um, so you, you basically will be able to match all of these sheets together and put all of them in one scale. So in order to do that, I can, use um, the blow one and then use the match line and then place everything exactly on top of each other. If you want to get it precisely, you can zoom in and make sure you kind of align them on top of each other. So all the lines and everything basically matches. I select 
the next sheet I place him exactly where the match line starts um, go to the last one same process nothing hard it's a really simple but very effective and helpful process so you guys see I, I have all of them aligned um, very easy you can take these to a next level um, you can change the color for every single one so people know these are like a different sheets they are stitched together what we can do you can select the image you can go to the change color uh, right here in the source you can select the color that you want and basically assign them a different color it can gives you a preview you'll be able to see how it's gonna look like right it's gonna be a really nice because they understand these are coming from a different sheet and basically they stitch um, and it's a really really easy to process to see because they can go to a different one if they want to go back to the original one um, you can follow the same process if you would like to pick a color or you want to leave them as black just the same original um, it's up to you after this is done uh, my recommendation is just make sure you lock them so I select every single sheet one by one and lock them in place so nobody will be able to move them because when you put this together if it's not locked uh, the problem is uh, people won't be will be able to kind of move them so just make sure you lock them and they're not gonna move any more it's gonna basically stick uh, the main point here is you might ask okay we brought in the sheets but like what are the notes like I can't find the legends okay great question I mean you can go back to the sheets and copy and paste those and bring them here so it's gonna be the same process um, that's why we want to create a very very comprehensive sheet that you don't have to go back and forth right so you can align that you can go to um, I believe it was 133 I can select get the notes get the legend like um, everything that you want and basically place them right here so right now you have the notes you have the legend you have all the sheets you can make them bigger you can make them smaller it just it's a preference but a last note before you finish uh, make sure you flatten so we already locked them nobody's gonna move them and this is a time to heat flatten so basically we stick everything to the page we make it one come one comprehensive document for everybody to use you can save them and select them and send it um, to the team to use thank you guys for watching today's video i'm hoping that i was able um, to show you something new that you would be able to use it on your daily process uh, please subscribe if you like the content and stay tuned for future videos thank you